Hi guys, Kelly here from the Beagle Lady. I'm out on my walk with Billy and Daisy. I like to give them their own walk. Um, just us together rather than with other dogs that might um, try and bowl them over and stuff and they, they love their little walks together. But today I wanted to talk to you uh, in regards to doggy and owner etiquette on a walk. Something that's come up uh, recently and also um, it's high debated because people obviously have their own views on, on what's right and what's wrong. But what I'm going to try and explain to you is what is seen as uh, the right thing to do and also because the law says you have to. So basically every dog has a right to a walk no matter how aggressive or how reactive they are and they shouldn't be banished to early morning walks and late at night so they don't see anybody or don't see any other dogs. These people are usually quite up on what their dog's behaviour is like so they will hopefully put a muzzle on them if they think they're aggressive and they will put leads on them so they're in control of them and how they can um, how the reaction is to other dogs now the problem is and I have experienced this myself when I've walked reactive dogs that um, some dogs are off lead and they don't have perfect recall so they come running up to me with my dogs that are on a lead and uh, my dogs are not happy and you know they're they're fearful and when they're on a lead they're vulnerable so they will use aggression if needs be to try and get that other dog to go away so basically if your dog is not perfectly recalled it's kind of a no-no that your dog runs up to another dog on a lead um, and if that is your dog then they're either going to have to go on a lead they're going to be recall trained or there needs to be some way you can gain control of them like I do with Billy he has a lead attached to him so I'm like one step ahead of him normally I see a person I'm like Billy come here <laughs> and then I pick up his lead and we carry on our walk until that person's gone and then I let him go and he can do whatever he wants it's not perfect so I have missed a couple and then I've had to apologize profusely to um, the poor owner and their dog um, and I'm mortified I'm embarrassed that my dog has run up to a dog that's on a lead because um, that's not doggy etiquette. So I have had people say to me, well, if, uh, if a dog is reactive or is aggressive, then they shouldn't be walked. No, 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 no. Dogs who are off lead need to be recall trained. And I know some of you are struggling with this because you have youngsters who um, are excited to see other dogs. But as my other video says, you need to have control over them. So you need to attach a training lead so that you can stand on it and grab their attention and pull them away so they learn that it's not acceptable to go running up to a dog. It is a hot topic, I know it is, but unfortunately the law says that if your dog is un not under control, which it isn't, if you don't have recall, then you are committing an offence if you put a person in fear of being bitten or bitten. Um, and anyone can feel fear, you know. Billy, when he... Um, has unfortunately gone up to somebody he looks and sounds aggressive so technically I've committed an offence so you need to keep this in mind you know I dealt with a job when I was a police officer where a perfectly beautiful Labrador who's a wonderful family pet was on a walk um, off lead and a jogger was coming towards him and his mum tried to call him and call him and call him and he didn't and when the jogger walked past he took a chunk out of this poor man's leg she was prosecuted. Now her dog has to be walked on a lead and muzzled at all times. That's what the courts have given uh, her the sanction, which is not fair for her and not fair for the dog. So please try and keep this in mind when you walk your doggies. I hope I haven't put you on a downer, um, but it is something that's really, really um, close to my heart because I do walk a lot of reactive dogs and I do my utmost to make sure that we don't go near other dogs and other people but it's those dogs that are not recall trained properly that come running over to us and cause absolute chaos um, so if you need some help with recall training have a look at my whistle training um, video because uh, whistles were made for beagles and also if you have a dog that's got selective recall it doesn't mean they can't go off lead you just need to get a training lead that they drag behind them and then you're able to um, you're able to have control over them and also 
also anticipate, anticipate. I'm always looking around me, always. Is there a person? Oh, right, Billy, come back. Oh, is there a dog? Right, Daisy, come back. You need to be very vigilant when you're on a walk with a dog off recall. And as I say this, I am in a field with no one around, but, oh, there he is. Billy's gone off, but he's now back. Hi, Bills. Come say hello. Hello. Right, guys, I'll see you later. Um, please keep your comments coming on the uh, on the Facebook group, and um, I'll speak to you soon. See you later. Bye.